Salvation Army and asked to create a mobile application that could be used as a way of continuing the Bridge Substance Abuse Support Program. They have found that the current eight-week in-house program works great, with the ability for counsellors to meet with the clients one-on-one -on -one or in small groups. But after the initial program and a lack of interaction, relapse rates increase. Our application has been designed to help fix that. The overall purpose of the application is to build on and refresh the skills clients learn through the program in a mobile, accessible format. We like to think of it as a pocket counsellor. One of the most important design aspects we faced was making sure that the application was very easy to read and navigation was intuitive. By making these the main focuses of design, it makes the application very accessible to all possible clients that will be using it, regardless of technical skill or literacy level. There are four main sections to the application. The daily tune-in, I need help, the toolbox and keeping track. The daily tune-in allows the user to answer questionnaires similar to ones utilised by the Bridge Program. This allows for the application to provide feedback catered directly to the user's needs on a day-to-day -day basis. The I need help section of the application allows the user to select how they are currently feeling and the application will then redirect them to a list of tools which has been designed to help with any cravings or problems they may be having on their road to recovery. The toolbox consists of activities and thought strategies which are mobile representations of the exercises used currently by the Bridge Program's counsellors, such as relaxation methods, risk planning and support contacts. Keeping track is a graphical representation of the data collected through the use of the application, such as moods and emotions. This is designed to help show the user that they are making progress and hopefully keeps them motivated to work through the recovery process. Another part of the project is research based. Psychologists for the University of Tasmania want the ability to collect all the data generated by the users to study and see how technology can play a role in helping with substance abuse in the future. So we created a database backend system that allows for this capturing of data, sending new data to the application in the forms of new questionnaires. It also provides the ability to manage the users that are using the application by making new accounts. If this application helps at least one person during their recovery, then the application has been a success. We as a team are very proud and excited about this project as we see the need and potential for such an application which could help change many people's lives for the better.